Poverty is a social disease. It's possible to live with it all your life. And every evil is perpetrated in darkness. So, poverty is evil. So, it's a walk of darkness. Come and say, walk of darkness. So, it takes the walking of light to disarm it. It takes the walking of light to disarm it. Poverty is darkness. <laughs> and so, it takes the walking of light to subdue it. It takes the walking of light to subdue it. I told you one story also that years ago I came back from one of my trips I think about 20 years ago and my wife said what have you brought I said come and see so I took her to my study and opened my box and behold it was books from top to bottom and my wife said what else I said that's all else that's all I invested in I said the contents of this book can make me a manufacturer of the things I will have bought the contents of this book you can see the effect today the contents of this book will make me a manufacturer of what I will have bought. If I could imbibe the light in this book, I will command the favor of God in a dimension that could make me a manufacturer of the things I will have bought. Light is the answer. To every walk of darkness. What is the answer? Light. This man was praying for 17 years. He was fasting for 17 years. His friends were joining him in prayers and fasting. Now you see, prayer and fasting can't make you read inside darkness, can it? In fact, the more you fast, the dimmer your eyes become, isn't it? There are people, perhaps sitting down here, they must be telling you anyway, who have never read one book that addressed their issue once. And so I don't want to be free. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So I'd like you to know that poverty is as evil as sickness. And it takes the work of light to destroy the works of darkness. It takes the working of light to destroy the works of darkness. So if darkness must be subdued, then you have to engage the workings of light to subdue it. 25 years ago, I said, no, no. Lord, show me the secret behind kingdom prosperity and I went with two books in my hand and my Bible why do I have to go with books there are people who have been sent by God to help the understanding of others to enter into the inheritance in Christ that's why they call them apostles prophets pastors teachers evangelists they are sent to the body for the perfecting of the understanding of the saints till we all come into the unity of faith into the fullness of our inheritance in Christ so there are things you will never understand except you sit at the feet of his apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists. It was from the books of Gloria Copeland, God's will is prosperity, that the light of heaven broke forth in my life. And I knew from that day, I got the key into the prosperity storehouse of heaven. I knew. And I screamed, hey, I can never be poor. 25 years ago. That's why I know that if you will follow the few things that God has asked me to tell you this month, uh, financial struggle will become a thing of the past forever in your life. I'd like you to therefore take advantage of this hour. Because you are sitting right at the center of heaven's prosperity on the earth this is a dimension of prosperity that even people who live in wealthy nations are envious of so how can you be dying of poverty sitting in the midst of prosperity supernatural prosperity is a reality 
if you will assess the light that makes it happen if you will assess the light that makes it happen i have these two books here every one member of this church who is tired of financial struggles should pay attention to it understanding financial prosperity is a package that is highly stimulating and enlightening it will shatter the yokes of darkness of lack and want in your life and brings you to dimension of confidence in supernatural prosperity there are two chapters here page 333 on the anointing for exploit exploit that talks about anointing for wealth and tries to explain the personality of the holy spirit in the realms of his mission his name is called the comforter nothing can be more discomforting you'll be breathing very hard and sweating it'll be five hundred thousand. amen but when the hand of god is upon you no matter what it goes to his favor will be more than equal to it I've recommended these two books with passion because I came out of the clutches of poverty by revelation. And I know no one can come out of it by supplication or intercession. It takes revelation to birth a revolution. If you want a financial dramatic turnaround, then shout for revelation. Would you? So instead of disturbing your wife, come and let us join hands together. Heavenly Father, where are you? He said, I'm always there. At least, son, what are you doing? <laughs> You say, Heavenly Father, I say, At least, son, what's going on? Eh? Until your light comes, His glory cannot be revealed. He said, Arise and shine because your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. If you want to see the glory of God upon your life in the area of finances, then reach out for His light. Would you?